A very beautiful afternoon from wherever you're watching. This is Jalango TV. And the program on air is Bonga na Jalas. Definitely a conversation that all of you have been waiting. There's no single poster I've ever said that a guest is coming that has attracted so much, so much love and hate at the same time. And definitely so many comments, so many likes, so many shares. Like when I say that Harrison Mumia will be with us here. Harrison here is the president. Okay, we have to start with the founder. President of the Atheists uh, Society of Kenya. The Atheists in Kenya. Oh, in atheists Kenya, in, in Kenya. Kenya society. Atheists? In Kenya society. Give me that, give me that. So that uh, we, uh, let, let's sanitize with this one. <laughs> uh, you watched a few of the programs and you saw that everybody has to sanitize before we start. Yes, and I don't know whether this is because I don't believe in God, but let's see whether, yeah, whether this works. <laughs> so you really don't believe in God? No, 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 I don't believe in I God. Like, I like this one because of uh, the pressure and everything. Yes. <laughs> I don't believe in God, uh, Jalango and... Uh, I, I find it very strange that that, uh, that people believe in God. <laughs> what I, 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 I think with the kind of knowledge that we have right now, the kind of information we have, you know, what happened is that Jalango, uh, the internet, the internet has allowed us to access a lot of information. If you want to know today, um, how certain medicines work, if you want to know how long the, the, the earth has existed, if you want to know um, the relationship, for example, if you're into science, the relationship between space and time, mm. if you want to know what scientists are doing out there in terms of understanding so many things, you just go to the internet. So I don't expect that in the 21st century... The year 2020. Yes, <laughs> that people would still be having a belief uh -huh. that somebody died for their sins. I, 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 I <laughs> all right, think... <laughs> all right, all right. Arison, Arison, we have no team in status. Guys, we are live from Miali, definitely. Kenya's best uh, restaurant in this town. Uh, so far, what do you think of the setup and uh, Miali itself? Uh, Jalango, you're doing good. You know, when you came, you asked me whether God has done anything for you. I told you God has done nothing for you. <laughs> but this is a beautiful, beautiful setting. Uh, thanks, God. Beautiful people. <laughs> Thank to God. Thanks to God we have this amazing space. Why it not for God? We would have not had this space. Because we talk, we talk to the owners of this place, mm -hmm. and because they are blessed people of yeah, God. Yeah, so you thank the owners. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a long, long day. <laughs> we will have a very, very long day. But this is a conversation all of us have been waiting for. And definitely, Harrison is here with us to just demystify a few things that we are doing. But definitely, we are live from Miali, one of the best restaurants in the suburbs of Nairobi. When you just want somewhere, you can come and chill and have a good meal and just enjoy. Without uh, you believing in God, what is your favorite meal, Harrison? I'm a lawyer, and uh, so you probably know that chicken... Chicken would be good. Would be good. So can you please organize some good chicken for... Uh, Harrison here. That would be good. That would be good. Yeah. That would be good. Yes. That would suffice. Na kale ka ugali, kale ka ngumu, iyo pia itakuwa sawa. Ugali. So kuku na ugali will be Kuku na ugali is always, I'm ready with that, yes. Wow. Guys, we are here because of this amazing man. This guy, Harrison Mumia, is the president and founder of the Atheists in Kenya. In Kenya society. society. Now, these are guys who do not believe that God is, exists, do not believe on anything about Jesus Christ, do not believe anything that has ever been written in the Bible, and anything that you, Christian or Muslim, whatever you are, would be calling Allah, uh, Christian, we call him God. Yes. Uh, Muslims, we call him Allah. And that's where the confusion begins. Okay, let's start with the confusion. Yes. Um, that there are many gods and uh, different people believe in different gods is the beginning of the problem with religion. 
Okay. So, um, so one of the, 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 the reasons why we are seeing a lot of people uh, deciding that I'm not going to believe in God again is, is, is because um, the concept of God is just not clear. Even within the religious circles, they don't understand their own gods because they have different gods. And I was watching, yesterday I was watching, there is some, somebody called Dr. Zakir on YouTube. He's a Muslim. Mm -hmm. And on this YouTube video, what he was doing, he was uh, dismantling the Bible as, as, as a religious book, as a book inspired by God. And he was saying the book that people need to really take it, that, that's a book inspired by God, is the Quran. And he went ahead from uh, chapter to chapter and verse to verse, and uh, he tried to demonstrate that the Bible has contradictions, it has inconsistencies, it has uh, absurdities, yeah. And uh, to some extent, I agree with him. The Bible is actually uh, has a lot of inconsistencies and absurdities. But then that does not mean that Islam or the Quran is the, is, the, is, the, is the holy book of God. Because if you go there, then you have to ask, what about the Hindus who believe in many other gods? Um, Hindus have different gods. Yes, very God, different. God of famine, yes, God of rain, yes, God yes, of everything. Yes, and for the Hindus, if I'm not uh, wrong, they also believe in what we call reincarnation. That when you die, you don't go to heaven, you become another you know, sort creature. of creature. Now, the, 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 the fact that we have a lot of different cultures believing in different gods, Jalango, should make you just become an atheist as I speak right now. Please, I mean, please, to right be, now. To become an atheist. <laughs> right now. Sanitize. <laughs> sanitize. 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 Are you crazy? Are you crazy? With everything because God has done to me. God has done nothing to you. Oh, Jalango, what? Jalango. Stop. Stop. Jalango, Jalango. No, 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 no. You know, you know, okay, you know, let me tell you. You something. know, you know, you know. The, the, I'm here with you. Yes. Because of God. Why not for God, me and you will not be sitting here in Jesus' name? J J Jalango, Jalango, and I feel you. I, I feel how you want to attribute your success. You want to attribute your your your, My journey. your journey to God, and many many Kenyans, many people in the world feel that way. All right, I used to feel that way. So when I was in Form Four, I but there I'm an A student. Uh, probably explains why I came to the realization God doesn't exist because. You know, if you engage your critical mind, you will get to that conclusion. Okay, now let's but, but let, 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 let me, also, let me, let's rem rewind yeah, this. yeah. Okay, I, so I just need us to go step by step. Yes. And I'll come to where we are. Yes. So, where were you born, Arizona? I was born in Kakamega County, mm -hmm. but that time it was Kakamega, uh, Western, Western province. province. Yes. So, you were born in Western province. Yes. Which uh, primary school did you attend? Rabai Road is here in, uh, in, in Jericho. Oh, so you guys actually moved from so, Kakamega? Uh, so we grew up, no, my dad used to work in uh, Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So we grew up in Buruburu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so I'm, I'm, I schooled in uh, Rabai Road Primary. Mm -hmm. In high school, I went to Aquinas High School, which is just on Jogo Road. Across the road? Yes, then from there I went to Jomo Kenyatta University. Mm -hmm. Then, yes, <coughs> and recently I was at Daystar University, so yeah. So my academic, that's my academic journey. Then I've how, worked how, in, how I've did worked you in. Even join Desta University, such a Christian, Christian school. I had to fake. So Desta University demand they do demand yes, that. Yes, I'm, I'm a graduate. Yes, you have to go to a pastor, and you know you have to get a letter from a pastor. Of course, yes. I did that, but these pastors, you just give them some little money, and they write for you that letter. <laughs> No, that's what I did. So, so you faked your letter to Daystar and you got this letter to from a pastor? Yes, so I gave a pastor some money and the pastor, let me tell you, never ever believe in some of these people calling themselves pastors. They are just human beings like any other. And that's why for us atheists we say that human beings are just human, irrespective of who they believe, what they purport to preach and so on. 
These are just human beings. So I went to a pastor. The reason why I did that is because I really wanted to get to Deista. You know that Deista is one of uh, the best, the best, best in terms of communications. Communication. Yeah, yeah, but then you have to find your way there. So I did that. Um, so you went and bribed a pastor somewhere. <clears throat> yes. So a pastor took your bribe. Yes. Wrote a letter to you and you took it to Deista. Yes. And you admitted Yes, I was admitted. I, I, and I, but I never used to pray. Because, you know, again, they start... They, every they, Friday they, is a church Every day. Friday you have to... And even before class, uh, you have to... You pray. have to No, even give, give a testimony. I'm like, I'm an atheist. What is wrong with you guys? <laughs> so, 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 what testimonies did you use to give? This that you don't believe in God. What testimonies did you give in every And class? let me tell you, that was one of the most difficult times in class for me. Because... Give a testimony. Yes, because... I knew I don't believe in God. I don't believe in the Bible. <laughs> How do you tell me to give a testimony? What torture? What other torture do you want me to go through <laughs> as, a, as an atheist? Sanitize, Mumia. Sanitize. <laughs> so let me ask you, Mumia. Eh? I so can I ask you something? Yeah. At what point did you realize that there is no God? Yeah, so I think in, 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 at Jomo Kenyatta University um, is when I realized there is a problem. There's okay. a problem, yeah? Take us through a journey of no God yes. re realization. Yes. Actually, I got saved from, from God. That is how to phrase it properly. You got saved from God? Yes, I got saved from God, yes. Because when, you, when, when, you're, deeply, <laughs> when, you're, deeply, no. when you're deeply in religion, you're basically living what you call a delusion. Now, what, what atheists in Kenya is doing is trying to save people from God. We want people to live a more real life than saying, like you're saying, that God is the one who has provided me with all these things. <laughs> but let me take you through my journey. So, oh, take in, 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 in campus, um, I decided to reflect on the whole question of God. It took a bit of time. I did a bit of research. I asked myself, I looked at myself as a human being, and I asked myself, so I came to this world, where am I going? What is my purpose? Uh, there are so many people telling me that God exists and he is responsible for my life. But when I looked at my life, I realized, I looked at my life, my own life, I realized that most of the things that I'm able to be happy or sad about or achieve or fail are not as a result of um, any supernatural force. You know, for example, if I did not study hard in a semester, I did not pass. If I studied hard and put a lot of effort during a semester, I passed my, my, my exams. What about this I, one person? Have you ever seen this student who did not work really hard during a semester, but later passed? Yes. And attributed their success to God. No, it is possibly possibly they colluded with the lecturer. You know, this is it has nothing to do with God. You have to always give very many other options. Anything could happen. So 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 the the I reflected on my life, realized that uh, number one, because I was I was raised a Christian. In fact, I was raised a friend's church member. So I was baptized in Friends. So Friends, Friends but I, Church. Friends Church. If you know Friends Church. One of the biggest churches in the West. Yes, Luya's are, uh, friends. you know, mostly they are Musica, Friends. Friends School, Musehu. Absolutely, yes. Um, but recently I, lo I wrote a letter to them and told them, please revoke my baptism. I do not want. Revoke my baptism because... Oh, do you know Jesus Christ was baptized? No, Jesus Christ was just a prophet uh, or war of those times, you know. You know, he was, uh, to me, when I think about Jesus Christ, I think this was a guy who was a famous person who used to know how to speak. He faked some miracles and people believed. <laughs> but he was not necessarily, and he claimed he was a son of God. Listen, you look to, to some. <laughs> No, to some degree, when you think about Jesus... You don't sit here well, and talk bad about... My no, no, but when you think about Jesus Christ, eh? Let, yeah. Let's look at... Okay, Jalango, just take a step back. Okay. Look at the Bible as a, hey. as a storybook. Don't, 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 don't be emotional about it. Just look at it as a storybook. Yeah? When you look at it as a storybook, then you are able to... I look at the Bible as a storybook. As a storybook. <laughs> then you will be able to 
uh, get that kind yeah. of uh, understanding that I have. Because me, the, the way I see the Bible yeah. is just a storybook. And that is why I'm able to talk the way I'm talking. Because for me, there's nothing in the Bible that owes me, that makes me feel like, oh my goodness, somebody was born of a virgin. I mean, it's not, it's not a big deal for me. That's just a big white lie that, that we are being forced to believe. You know very well, Jalango, if I told you today, I want to ask you a question. If I told you today I was born of a virgin, would you believe? Just be honest and don't, don't try and... I want a yes no, or no, no, yes or no answer. Yes, no, I'm just asking you a question. No, each and every answer, whether a yes or a no... No, no, I mean, I mean if, I, if I told you that... No, uh, if you, you told me you were born of a virgin, virgin would, you, would you believe me? I won't. Good. What if I told you that I, I am able to turn water into wine? Would you believe me? No. I'll wait for you to turn it. Good. What if I told you I'm able to raise somebody from the dead? Until you do it. Yes, and therefore, Jalango, you are a perfect species for atheism. You're the person we need in our community, <laughs> society. <laughs> You're the person you need, you know, because that's skepticism. It is called skepticism. No, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Jesus, come down, my Lord, come down. Come down this moment, my Lord. And check this guy. We just need to get this guy saved. I want to. Hey, 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 hey. I want to call. Hey, hey, Jesus, Jesus, Lord, save me from this nonsense. <laughs> Father God, come down at this moment. All right, now let me give a quick shout out to a few people who are here. Kevin Osega Nasema, this guy is a fool. <laughs> Kevin Modega Nasema, 1.5. 1,500 people watching us live as we speak. Wow. As we speak, eh? As we speak. Thanks to God. <laughs> the guy has more <laughs> sense than most pastors in here. There are some people starting to believe in you. No, I think people are seeing the sense uh, in what I'm saying, and I'm happy. I'm happy. And I'm happy, Jalango, that uh, you, you, you're hosting me because remember, people had said you should not host me. There's so many people came out and said, why are you hosting this guy? Why are you hosting this guy? Yeah, and, and, and the reason why I'm happy about the government registering us is because the government has opened another space. You guys are registered? Yes. Who registered you? It's the government of Kenya which registered us. That. They registered us. That this country believes that there's no God? In that we have Kenyans. You didn't even see the census? What the hell? The census report of 2019. <laughs> um, you know, when they were doing the census, they actually looked at how many atheists are there in Kenya. And, and the report uh, came out and we are over 700,000 atheists. And so that's not a number you can ignore, and it's growing. Because most atheists are also chiniyamaji, hawataki kujulikana. There are people who do not want to believe. All Christians want to believe. Everybody should know that they are Christians. Why are you, some of your members do not want to be known? Because their girlfriends will dump them. Because <laughs> their parents are going to get annoyed with them. Because their friends are going to ditch them. There, there is a, what we call stigma when it comes to this whole question of atheism. It's such a stigmatizing issue. My own, my own brothers and sisters also had a bit of you know, issues because none of the people in my family are atheists. Now, my, I've, I've had girls who have decided, Mumia, you know, yes, you're a good man. But uh, how do I introduce you to my parents? My, parents. my yeah. parents are very religious. So, and it's not just me. Um, my story is a story that is happening in real life for many atheists. But I'm encouraging the atheists to be strong. I'm encouraging atheists to also come out because it's challenging. It's challenging. You see, in Kenya, we are like an 80, over 80% religious. So once you become an atheist, I can tell you, that uh, when I used to work for Central Bank, you know, they, I think they fired me because I'm an atheist. Because they did not like my atheist advocacy, what I'll call atheist advocacy. But you know I've sued them, so let's see what happens. But, but I, I think, uh, just coming back to my journey, Jalango, it is now very clear to me that the best way to live this life is to live knowing that you only have one life. And, and, and if, if you can 
think that you only have one life, then you're going to structure your life in a manner that is fulfilling. You're going to wake up every morning and ask yourself, today is probably the only day I have. So what do I do? Let me make the best of today. And how are you going to do it? If, it you, if you're working, you put a lot of effort to make sure you're fulfilling what you're doing. In your relationships, you make sure that they, 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 they are you know, fulfilling and you're making people happy and yourself happy. And you treat yourself well. Because to me, this idea of God is making people believe that they have another life after they die. When you die, where will you go to? The same place you will go to, Jalango. You're going to go to a grave, even me. Unless I write a will and say that I want to be cremated, we are all going to be buried. Then no. life after death? Jalango, there's nothing like life after death. You see, what we have here Jalango. is... <laughs> there's nothing like life after death. And, and why would you want to live after you die? I mean... <laughs> What is this obsession with, uh, with living uh, after uh, you die? Uh, uh, uh. Why, why, why do people want to live after they die? And you know, just think about it. You see, you see the Bible Even if you live after you die in yeah. heaven yeah. for all those years, because there are millions of years, there are billions of years, it becomes boring at some point. <laughs> I mean, think about it. People praising and singing songs in what? praise of Jesus for millions of years. I could not sustain that for a week. <laughs> Why, why would you want that life? So, so the concept of heaven in itself is absurd. It's absurd. And by the end of this show, Jalango, please, please, we have a form uh, on the website. Please register. <laughs> we will invite you for our meeting. Alex, waiting for people to start using the Bible quotes to defend religion. Is this man for real? She anasema afadali angeleta angeleta apostol nganga leo. Then uh, uh, thank you so much. When the mutisa ask him, wealthia wana toa wapi? Where do they get their wealth? That's a question that will come to hey, Zaitan. A Christian douche and I say, my end this show now. In Jesus name. <laughs> hey. Wow, Holy Ghost fire. Queen Ingina the book and I say, my Holy Ghost fire. The Bible is fake news. Hey, they, you've sent your people here. Um, no, I wale wako chini ya maji. The ones who fear their girlfriends to leave them. But again, I'm encouraging them. Mm -hmm. The stupidity I can see here <laughs> is the reason Africa will never will never do what. But that guy has a point, huh? Mm. That guy has a major point. The the stupidity stupidity I can see here is the reason why Africa will never develop. You are fighting over a god who your colonizers don't even yes. believe in. They dumped Jesus in Africa and they took your resources. That guy has a major point. We'll, we'll come to that. But uh, he, whatever he has said um, is something needs, that needs to be repeated in all the mainstream media houses in Kenya. If you yes, 1.7 thousand people watching live. Yes, you see, um, I just want to go to what that guy has said. Because one of the things we need to think about as Africans, Jalango, is our history we have to ask ourselves, where is our history as Africans? If you go back 200 years, even 300 years ago, and you ask yourself, how did my great-great-grandfather or mother used to live? What did he believe in? Um, you'll realize that uh, there was no Bible. We used to have our own beliefs. We used to believe in trees mountains, and trees mountains and, and so on and, and so forth. And everything. You see, I would rather an African who preserves his own culture than one who adopts the culture of um, the colonialists. Because we now behave as if what the colonialists brought us is like the most important thing. The colonialists don't even, if you go to European countries, 
Most of those people are atheists. If you go to Israel, where they say Jesus was born, people don't believe in Jesus in Israel. Yet in Africa, we are now the ones going around, meeting and uh, shouting every Friday in the name of Keshas. We are the ones trying to, to teach our children because I have a problem with our children being taught the Bible, you know, CRE and IRE, and we are pumping them with a lot of this colonial uh, information. So they grow up. You think about it, Jalango. You know, if you have a family, why would you want your child to believe that there was somebody who lived 2,000 years ago who did miracles? Of what use? Why don't you show him how to run YouTube uh, shows? It's going to help him. You see, why are we, why are we so... Why are we so concerned about things that are not helping us? And so this idea of Africans believing in, in, in Jesus and in Mohammed has nothing to do with Africans. My great-grandfather never knew who Jesus was. He lived, he died. I don't believe that he is in heaven or hell or something like that. He never believed in heaven because to him, he lived a life where there was nature and whatever he believed, he believed. But as Africans, now we are behaving as if we don't have a culture, that we don't have a history. So we've left everything to what the colonialists uh, brought to us. That's a big problem in Africa. And I think uh, for the atheists in Kenya society, we hope to move forward, the agenda forward, and to save Kenyans and Africans from God. Because we need, we need people to be saved. From God. From God. People need to be saved. Where was the last time, when was the last time you were in church? Um, the last time I was in church was, I think, four years ago. But there's a reason I went. There was this girl I loved. And, uh, you know, she told me she's a Christian and ni kacheza tu kama mimi. So mi ni kama kamoning ni kenda church. But ni kama ambia story ati yo pastor na se mati when you I'm Kenny si ju ni ni kama I'm not doing that yeah ati amka you know the way Catholics do it you know in Catholic church you wake up and sit down how many times it's so boring yeah so um, <laughs> I told him I'm not doing that and I also told her sorry it was her I told her I'm also not praying so when they stand up to pray. I'm not going to do that. So we had, we, I just sat down because if you are, she wanted to be happy that, you know. My boyfriend came to church. Yes. Arison. But. Arison, Arison. <laughs> but that was the last time I went to church. Before yeah. that, then it was many years back. Yeah. Arison, when you told your mom you are an atheist, and you know how our African men. Yeah, you know, my mom prays for me, Jalango. Even today? Today. That? He prays that uh, God, God that? reveals him, uh, him. Is God, does God have a gender, by the way? <laughs> but he pray, she prays that God reveals uh, himself to me. And uh, I think I understand where my mom is coming from. You know, you know um, most mothers you know, especially the ones who've lived in this generation, uh, believe in God. I think uh, they, and, and the reason why they do that is because they're looking for hope. God, God honestly does provide hope. What I mean by hope is that sometimes when you're going through a, a tough time, you just want, even if it is some, some invisible, non-existent God, you feel good that maybe there's something out there that is, helping me to go through the situation. So my mom prays for me. My mom believes that uh, God is doing wonders in, in our lives. But I understand her. I respect her position. She also respects my position. I think she is wrong, but I cannot, I can't tell her. So the fact that your mom is praying for you is a very wrong thing. No, I just think that, that uh, prayers don't work. So, so the, the, the thing is this. Yeah. Prayers don't work. However much you pray, however, however much you kneel down, however much you look at the skies, 
and uh, ask somebody invisible out there to do things for you, it will never happen. Wow. Yeah, because if you look at the corona situation we have right now, what has happened? Scientists have worked very hard and now we have the first vaccine. We have three vaccines, but the first one is being tested in Britain as we speak. Yeah? And so if prayer worked, we'd not be having people trying to look for a, a, a vaccine for coronavirus. And people have died. And so what's going to help uh, the corona situation is not prayer. Now, if we can reason out that way, then why should we think prayer works in other circumstances? Jelango, if people cannot pray for corona, to, for, for it to be cured, even cancer, why, do you, why would you think prayer would work in other situations? Even you, you should just use your normal logic. <laughs> it is just simple logic and you, you get away from that prayer situation so that you live a real life. And that, that, that for me, is, it has really helped me since I stopped believing in things like prayer and God. My life has been more practical, Jalango, more practical. So if I have, uh, uh, I want a job, I will look for a job. If I want to date, I will look for somebody to date. If I want to invest, I will invest. And, and, and if you want to, for example, at the, at the political landscape, yeah, we have the BBI. If we want to support the BBI, you vote. If you want to support, you don't. Life is practical. If you're unwell, walk to a hospital. Yeah? And, and, and the message today for you, Jalango, and the, 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 the viewers is, uh, live a practical life. It doesn't matter how, how, how much you think the supernatural exists. But the more practical your life is, the more fulfilling actually then it can become. And, and, and it has helped me that I, I wake up every morning and I try to treat myself well and focus on my goals. So you have to have goals in life, yeah? So you have to plan your life in such a way that I want to achieve this. Because life is not going to be with you forever. Time is moving. Five years ago you were different. Five years from now you'll be different. The, the message is that try and look at life from a realistic perspective, not from a supernatural perspective. This is a message which I would, if there's something I, somebody should pick from this show, it is that. And for the atheists, um, I know many are not coming to the front. I understand the challenges f uh, atheists are facing How in this country. How many come out in the front, by the way? Most are just hiding in WhatsApp groups and uh, Facebook groups. Because, you see, I know that parents would not be happy. Many parents in Kenya would not be happy to know that, to know that their children are atheists. Because there's a notion that atheists is devil worshipping and illuminati. People think that because I'm an atheist, I have a lot of money that I'm now in an Illuminati kind of thing. That's not true. Atheism, we are just saying there's no God. We don't believe God exists. And uh, we would like people who have arrived at that conclusion to join the society. That when, is it. When Christians meet or Muslims meet or Hindus meet, they pray. Yeah. What do you people do when you meet? <sighs> <laughs> so, um, during our meetings, and we had our last meeting in uh, fr Friday. Every Friday, by the way, we meet. Mm -hmm. Every Friday we meet. Where? Uh, online. No, we do online meetings because of the situation. COVID but you see, we have a lot of things to, to, to discuss. For example, we are supporting, right now as we speak, we are supporting a child in Baringo who um, did very well in uh, Standard 8 got 400 and I think 12 marks, but the mother was not able to uh, get a school fees for him. So w one of the things we do as atheists is to support those who are having real challenges. And so this boy who we are supporting, um, we normally meet sometimes, we discuss, okay, can we go and visit the, pa the parents? Um, corona is coming to an end. Does the boy have what he needs uh, for school? So. One of the things we do is to be humanitarian. We want to have a positive impact on, on the society. And uh, we are doing this to demonstrate that for you to be good or bad does not take religion or, or, or belief. Goodness and badness is about you as a person. And goodness and badness doesn't... And you know, I see religious people saying, 
you know, for, we want to, I see so many parents making the same mistake, that you want to take your child to church or mosque or whatever to learn good, good uh, conduct or to, to be a good boy or to grow up with what they call Christianity and Islam is not the foundation of morality. Morality is a human concept. It's a human being's concept. You can be good, you can be bad, depending on what you want to do. It's, it's never about... And if you go to the Kenyan jails, Yalango, who are the most jailed people there? Are they atheists? You just go and ask some of these uh, prison warders. They'll tell you, these people are believers. <laughs> I don't think actually there's any atheists in our jails. Because... because uh, <laughs> Yeah, because, because it, it's a demonstration that um, being bad has nothing to do with religion. So we are trying to do good for society. We want people who are in problems, if you're having school fees problems, if you're unwell, we've also organized... If you have school fees problems, what do you do? We pull together resources. We have people who are funding us, mm. so we pull together our resources and support those children. COVID-19 has really affected a lot of people. So we even have psychologists and uh, counselors on board, people who will counsel families for the challenges they are facing because COVID-19 has come with a lot of uh, problems. Uh, but, but the most important thing here is that the atheists in Kenya society wants to do good for Kenya. We want to have a positive impact for this country. Yes. Hey. Ah. Listening to you is a very bad thing. <laughs> it, it can make somebody rethink about themselves. Very and I'm not going to give you a chance. Jalango, fill the form. It's online. <laughs> so in that form, what do you say? You say that I, Nani Nani? Yeah, so you just say your name, give mm. us your details. We will get the form. <laughs> we will give you the constitution. Jake N says, I agree with this guy. Huh? Morrison Litiam and Asema, by the way, Zafika Palu, Pateko, Mungwa Yuko. Do you believe there's Satan? No, Satan and God are just uh, two faces of the same coin. So, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> no, what I, what I mean by that is that uh, the people who came up with religion had to invent Satan as well. So, Satan is an invention. Because there is no way God would have existed without uh, Satan. You knew God cannot exist without Satan, Jalango. <laughs> God cannot exist without Satan. Because for there to be God, there has to be Satan. Because you'll be told... For there to be position, there best be opposition. Uh, exactly. That kind of thing. Analogy. But, but, but analogy. But, but wh wh what I'm saying here is the inventors of religion had to, to invent Satan. And I would like to urge Kenyans who believe it's Satan to stop. At Nimerogwa, Nishetani, stop. Things happening bad in your life have nothing to do with Satan. Wow. Because Satan does not exist. So let me ask you something. Mm, you get some people are poor. Some people are rich. All right? Yeah. Some people from nowhere. Something happens that they, they just become rich. You understand? Uh, some people are very rich, then they later become poor. You get uh, the disparity of how we actually live in this uh, society and in the whole community. You understand? Yeah. That somebody cannot be able to buy food. Tomorrow is up running on a buffet. Can't you see the hand of God in this? In Jesus' name. <laughs> Yeah, so I think uh, things happen in this life. Things happen, things happen. Uh, and what we need to accept is that those things just happen. So, Jalango, today, if you, you, you win or you, you, you get some, a lot of money and something good happens and you become very rich and another person becomes very poor, another person becomes sick, goes to Nairobi Hospital and gets healed, get, get, gets healed by the doctors. Or another one was being thrown out of the house because they could not pay rent. And then some, somebody just decides, I'm paying, pay. I'm going to pay your you rent. God in that? The people you're supposed to thank in this life 
are the ones who do for you those things. So you don't thank God, you thank the person who paid for you rent. I don't know why God takes all the credit for all these things. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it should not be the case. Again, I've seen people who moved from poverty to richness. And again, what we need to understand is that this is a phenomenon that happens. You can be playing sport pesa and you angukia a jackpot and you're good. You can also be, you know, um, meet somebody who just wants to help you, like me. I've, ne I've met people who've ju who just want to help me. So I move from this state to this state. I don't say it's God. I say it is those people who have helped me. There are also people who are very rich and they pull down. There are people who are healthy today and tomorrow you find somebody cannot walk. Or somebody has a disease, cancer or something. We just say that it's unfortunate that you have this disease, but it, we are not attributing, never attribute uh, your circumstances to God. And I think this is, the, this is the other message that we need to pass out there. Wow. But Jalango, why would you think that uh, the changes in your lives are as a result of a supernatural? No, no, why are people so obsessed when, with the, with the think, supernatural? When, when I just think about the days I was a fisherman all the way in Omabe, the days I used to walk even without shoes, the days I used to go hungry, but the same streets that I used to pass. Jalango, people through. have walked without shoes for thousands of years. You, you, you just, the other day you're complaining. <laughs> I mean, look, just think about 400 years ago, people never had <laughs> shoes. And for hundreds of thousands of years, people were walking without shoes. Mm. Now that shoes have come, you're complaining for a few years, my friend. <laughs> Sanitize, young man. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, so, you know, so, so, so there's, there's nothing that uh, we need to attribute ah. to the supernatural. I even see women, by the way, Jalango, mm. saying that, Children come from God. <laughs> Do you know that? I hear that all the time. Somebody gets uh, a baby, a, a baby mm. and every other person, you know, God has blessed you with a baby. It is you and the person who gave you the baby that formed the baby in your womb through a biological process. You went through a nine-month gestation period and then you got the baby. God has nothing to do with it. You the, know, The women who can give birth, the women, after waiting for a very long time, even after being told that they were not going to be able to give birth, no, can you see if you the cannot, hand of God if you the... cannot give birth and you give birth, the reason is that you can't give birth and you are able to give birth. <laughs> it's as simple as that. <laughs> These other things of God intervened. It's really ah. not true. If if you're not able to do something wow. Wow. and you are able to do it the next day. That is the sequence of things. That is what happened. That's a natural. Let me give a big shout out to our sponsors right now. Meet Villa Housing will be releasing out and handing over 46 units of their new, uh, new homes, the Savannah Villas. And they have partnered with us to just let you know that on the 12th of December, 46, how, 46 people will become homeowners in Jesus' name. These are people who've worked so hard and were not able to afford their houses. But then, who is this situation? Like in this situation, my explanation will be this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Please okay. Play the video <laughs> without this guy. Dying. Make this Jamuri day a bigger and a better one. Because on the 12th of December, Mint Villa Housing will be handing over 46 units of the Savannah Greens Estate. Remember, all the 46 homes have ready title deeds. And on the same day, there will be a groundbreaking of their second project, the Twin Falls Estate. Call 0710-500-100 and be part of a team that delivers. Meet Villa Housing, guiding you home. 
Of course, yes, each and every single house at uh, Mint Villa Housing have their already title deeds. But what is important that if you missed this first phase, they're just opening another over 100 units in the new estate called the Waterfall in um, Kabulu. Make sure that you can grab this opportunity now. Grab it when? Now. And pray. <laughs> <laughs> Pray for you to get those, uh, for, for God to give you, uh -huh. grant you some favor, right? Yes. You know, I have a house and God did not grant. I hope I'm not messing up with the ad, by the way. No, you're not messing up with that. <laughs> yeah, so, so things, things, things happen. I, I, you know, religious people attribute their success to God. I also have things I've been able to achieve in life. Yeah. So, so the you are your own God. Yes. And you are your own God. And I think everybody should be their own gods. Hey. Ideally. Ideally, we should treat ourselves as gods. Hey. Yeah, Leo Ningumu. I don't know where to start. We've been dressed today by Divine Collections. Amazing, amazing team. Uh, where do you buy your clothes, by the way? Well, I, um, I have a fondy. Mm. Yes. Just for, for the most part, I, I get a fondy to, mm. to, to, to do this for me. I'm a suits guy. Mm. Um, yes, I, I like being official. Of course, where I work, I'm also in charge of corporate communications. So I think that's part so you of. You have to dress good. You have to dress I'll good. I'll take you to trip uh, to divine collections so that you can have a complete look one of these fine days. Good, I'll wow. appreciate. And uh, again, it's not the work of God; it's your work. You're the one doing it. Think about it that way, and I'll appreciate. Wow, the people who put this show together call picture clear. If you're looking uh, for a team that can easily make sure that you have some of the best live sessions, uh, asking yourself some of the picture quality, photos and everything. Are you a pastor trying to preach out there? Are you an atheist trying to spread your word out there? And you're looking for the best live team, then these amazing guys are called Picture Clear. Talk to them today, they'll be able to sort you in the best way uh, possible. I just want to thank everybody who is watching this thing, that if you believe in Jesus, do not be confused by this man. Do not be confused <laughs> in Jesus' name, because this guy has come to spoil, to, to distort and everything. Actually, Picture Clear, I think uh, we will we would like to you know, partner as a society, with. yes, as a society. Well, will Peter Clear accept this, that he is a very saved man of God? This is what we want Peter Clear to do, to accept to work with, uh, atheists. <laughs> with atheists. Yeah, so that we, we, we see how to, 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 to get the message <laughs> out there. Big shout out to Team Wana Inchi Credit, ladies and gentlemen. These are the people who will make sure that you get your loans, your car loans, uh, your logbook loans in the quickest way possible, in six hours. The loans can come. Your money will be in your bank through Mwana Inchi Credit. This is Kenya's number one logbook loans company. Mwana Inchi gives you uh, the parts to have your money processed in less than six hours in a day and you have your car. Do we have anything to show them picture clear? From uh, Thank you so much. We'll be able to show you. Now, 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 now Arizona. Harrison, Harrison, where do we even start from? <laughs> You've got me confused in ways that I don't even <laughs> understand myself. Wow. So let's get back to the community. The community is big and growing. Yes, um, the How community. So we have a following of over 18,000. Mm -hmm. That's just a following. Mm -hmm. We have registered so far about almost 5,000 mm -hmm. uh, members. Mm -hmm. And for you to become a member of the society, all you need to do is to visit the website and uh, register, and then you become a member. Um, we are registered by the government of Kenya, and wow. this is something we are really, really happy. And uh, I attribute it to the new constitution, which has given us a lot of uh, freedoms, and that is why you know I'm here. If I was in Saudi Arabia right now, this show, I think, would have probably come to an end much earlier. Kitabu. Yes, because I don't think they have that kind of freedom. But Kenya has a constitution. So our membership is growing. Uh, we are seeing a situation where we have more men. Uh, so the, the atheists are 80% men. And 
and 20% women. And 20% women. Because it's something women which. Are religious. Because women, for some reason, um, have an affinity towards the supernatural, a, a higher affinity, I would say. Mm. Yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's something which I've been also trying to understand. Is it that uh, by nature women are more religious, but the society is growing and uh, we think that in the next 10 years, uh, over 30% of Kenyans will have seen the light. Wow. Harris, this is a conversation that I think we will have again and again and again. <laughs> All right? But I just want you to look at this camera, all right? I want you to look at this camera and give me your last sub submission on why nobody should believe that there's a God, all right? Why they should be able to join you and why this community is growing, it's big, and it will even be bigger and that there's nothing God has ever done to you on this camera. Yeah, I would like to uh, welcome Kenyans to the atheists in Kenyan society. Uh, I would like Kenyans to get to the point where they can start living their own lives without relying on the supernatural, without relying on the gods, without relying on life after death, without re fearing that there is a devil who is going to uh, make them go to hell. I would like Kenyans to be able to understand that this life has nothing supernatural controlling them. That you can live a fulfilling life without prayer, without believing in God, that you can actually have a fulfilling life without thinking that there's somebody controlling your life. I'm inviting Kenyans to join the Atheist in Kenya Society. Visit our website. Once you join, then you're going to understand what we do. We want to do good for this country. I proceed? Yes. Yeah, so I would like Kenyans to join the Atheist in Kenya Society. We want to do good for this country. We want to reach out to those who are having challenges, the poor, the sick. We want to give them hope. We want to show them that atheists are also humanists, that we care about people. We care about the future of their children. We care about their families. That when you're having challenges, instead of turning to, the, to, to religion, you can turn to a fellow human being who can come through for you. So I'm welcoming uh, Kenyans to the Atheist in Kenya Society. Visit the website, reach out to me on my social media platforms, and I'll be more than willing to engage you so that we make both your life and mine as fulfilling as possible. Thank you. Wow. 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 First, I, I really want to thank you for making time and being bold enough to come and uh, actually talk to the people who watch Jalango TV. And uh, <laughs> it was not hard to find you because I just went to your DM and yes. I was able to get you. But uh, but can I get a, another a small um, um, the drink I was taking? What was it? Uh, some drink. Yeah, Kidogo. No, 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 you'll get your drink, no problem. <coughs> yeah. So so I have a question. Uh, Are we on show? No. Yeah, the show is on. Uh, I really want us to. To okay. get to get ourselves back into something. Yes. Where I want I think I'm not the right person to host this show. You understand? Yes. Because as much as I'm a Christian, I don't think I'm deeply rooted or in a point to where I'm able to defend the religious the position. Religion position. position in a way that I will not feel like I'm biased or hitting you hard or you overwhelming me. Yes. I, I have a request. I want to put up a debate of where I'll have a pastor and a man of God sit here 
with you in the middle, with you at that end, and myself in the middle. The middle, yes. So that we could have this conversation again and again. So that there would be references and things like that. Yeah. And everybody would be able to defend their position. Yes, I think I'm uh, open to that. You know, I debated Pastor T on, uh, where was it? Pastor T on, uh, on, on NTV, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I've debated a number of pastors, so I'm open to this kind of conversation. Perfect. That's just perfect for me. Wow. Yes. I want to thank you so much, everybody who tuned in, everybody who sent a comment, anybody. We knew that this was going to be a crazy show. We're hitting up to 4,000, 3,000, 6,000 people watching us live. And this is a conversation that cannot stop here today. Definitely, if uh, Harrison here was able to convince you uh, and uh, uh, almost got you saved from God or actually saved you from God, how do we get with you? Yes, so if you are uh, on social media, if you just search Harrison Mumia, uh, I have a page, President of the Atheist in Kenya Society. I am on Twitter, again, President of the Atheist in Kenya Society, but you search Harrison Mumia. I'm on Instagram, Harrison Mumia as well. Um, on the website, atheistinkenya.org, you have all our contacts. You can write to us an email. Um, and, of course, uh, you can always reach me on WhatsApp. Uh, my number is on my uh, Facebook page. So you can always get me. If you want a conversation with me, if you want to understand deeply why we have rejected God, then uh, get in touch with me. Then I'll, I'll, I'll take you through uh, several reasons why you need to also live, uh, abandon God, and uh, be more uh, entrenched in the real pragmatic. life. Pragmatic. Be more pragmatic. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, more entrenched in the real life. That is Harrison Mumia, yes. the president and founder, the founder and president of the atheists in Kenya society. In Kenya society. Yes. This conversation is not my conversation. I really want a pastor to sit here with them so that they are able to ask each other questions that maybe I myself, because I was arguing from a layman point of view. Yes. Where I have to ask you, where you don't think God has done this for you? Yes. How were you born? At what age and stuff? But I would really like somebody who can send you in intrigues of even opening the Bible and talking and to And talking you. to me. Yes. Yeah. Knowing that I've also been a Christian and I've also opened the same Bible. And I understand it, and I move from that. So it will be interesting. So today you can confirm that Bible is just a storybook. It's not just a confirmation. Uh, the Bible is a, it's a good storybook with beautiful stories that uh, I think are good for children. And that Quran is also another storybook. It's another storybook, and uh, the funny thing is people believe in these storybooks as truths. And that's where the problem is in Africa and in the world. And, and I hope that Jalango, you uh, are going to rethink. Maybe when you go and sleep tonight, just think about uh, Mumia and what he has been able to t tell you today. Cut, 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 cut. <laughs> we are done, we are done, we are done. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>